Well, do you know the history of the Green Book? Back in the 60s, it was a guide for African Americans to let them know which businesses would accept them. Hmm. Now it's getting a modern twist to showcase landmarks across the state, and it launches this week. Fox Carolina's Teresa Bowles live in studio with us. And Teresa, you're going to walk us through how this is helping to highlight small pieces of our state's history. Here and there are over 180 popular sites and hidden gems represented inside. About 40 are here in the upstate, and the force behind it couldn't be prouder to share it with native South Carolinians and those who plan to take a trip and learn a thing or two. There's a lot of amazing things in this book. I think everybody can find something that they didn't know about. An overview of the Green Book's history. During the segregation era, it identified businesses that would accept black customers, originally called the Negro Motorist Green Book. They get to learn a segment of the community they may not be familiar with or the history, the rich history. However, this one's for our state. The We Goja Foundation, the International African American Museum, and Hub City are bringing it back, highlighting black cultural sites to visit. It's called the Green Book of South Carolina. It was um, a lot of work for them over 20 years of assembling all of that information and, and a lot of work us bringing it together in the last year. But what really binds this book are the images. We just put it into a book format, but we were really fortunate to have Joshua Parks, the photographer who took the stunning photos. Parks shared a few with me. This is Seashore Farmers Lodge, now a cultural museum, and this Epiphany Church in Spartanburg, the oldest black church building in the city, and perhaps Brenda Lee Price's favorite, no doubt about it, it's the uh, Jubilee flag. And the story of the flag is very touching. The Emancipation Jubilee flag was carried by Spartanburg's newly freed black organizers marching alongside federal soldiers while defeated Confederate soldiers watched. It's held together for 157 years, just as the soldiers once did. The book is published, but the official launch event is later this week. Price says the community is already anticipating. I'm going to be there. Can I bring my cousin? Can I bring my grandmother? that kind of reaction to take some history back with them. Now you can buy this book at the Hub City in downtown Spartanburg where it was published for about 17 bucks and it will be at the official launch this Thursday at 5 at Fretwell. Cody, Tori. Well, there is also a mobile travel guide that showcases more than 300 attractions. You can find that at greenbookofsc.com.